turns out that you can't go live because I, I tried in the app, then the app crashed, and it froze. So then I tried to go live from the browser, but I think you can't go live from the browser. It has to be in the app. So I'm back in the app, and I'm hoping the app will like not crash this time. So anyways, uh, for the one person watching so far, we'll probably get more people as this progresses. Uh, the idea is I'm here to help you with uh, the SEO on your channel description. So um, if you heard me say this a second ago on the other live uh, feed, um, you know, my apologies for repeating myself, but uh, you know, I'm Vacation Impossible, I'm a travel channel, I'm hanging out here at LAX, uh, the Hilton at LAX, and I've got a day basically to just kind of chill out and recover from my day of travel, so I thought I would go live and offer whatever advice I can uh, to help uh, the, uh, the people on Small YouTubers Boost um, take a look at your channel descriptions, because I think it's an often ignored part of um, uh, channel uh, of things that channels focus on the content creators focus on and so I'm just trying to get this live stream working properly here not froze now okay cool um, we're gonna figure this out one way or another guys this is gonna happen so um, if you guys want to comment um, on the live feed here with a link I'm officially asking for a link so don't worry about that you know you have to be asked for a link I've officially asked for a link so you're not gonna get you know dinged on that rule um, and so what uh, if you could link me up directly to your about page uh, would be helpful and then what I'm going to do is uh, I'll take a look at it and I'll offer any feedback any advice uh, if you want I'll go as far as to completely rewrite it for you uh, assuming you know my app doesn't crash trying to do that but um, yeah I think that it's uh, it's an important thing about channels that people often forget is because your description feeds into the the search engine optimization the SEO so you have um, uh, when someone searches, the, the results aren't just videos, you get channel results too. And so you want to try and have that alignment happening. Uh, so what I call I call it keyword alignment, like on a specific video. You want to have a keyword at the beginning of your title, your description, and your meta tags that's preferably the same word, something that you want to index very well on the search. But that goes for your channel description too. So uh, my channel is Vacation Impossible, and so I'm hoping that we're indexing fairly well on the word vacation, because uh, we're a travel channel. It would make sense. So uh, you know we have it in the you know in the channel name, in the channel description, and uh, often it'll crop up in uh, video names and um, video descriptions and meta tags as well. So um, just trying to figure out how I can. I don't know if anyone's shared. Um, Oh, Curtis. Uh, so Curtis says that uh, he uses uh, vidIQ, which uh, he says helps SEO tremendously. I've heard a lot of good things about vidIQ and TubeBuddy for SEO um, with regards to videos, uh, the meta tags particularly. I haven't tried it myself. I I got the the free vidIQ for like a moment, and then I was I was trying to get it set up, and it looked like the amount of access it was going to have to my channel made me a little uncomfortable. So. Um, I might give it another try because I mean clearly I've heard many of you guys have used vidIQ uh, and TubeBuddy and you haven't had big problems. I mean I feel kind of the same way about um, Social Blade. Now like I kind of interacted with her go through the Mario Marathon quite a bit so I know like the guy behind it's a good guy but even still like the amount of access that it that it grants to these apps it just it makes me a little nervous. I mean I've been working on my YouTube channel since 2006. I've been filming videos since 2001 so um, you know, I don't, I don't want to risk that. So, but yeah, I think I just need to kind of grow up and give it a try at some point. But also part of me is thinking if everyone's using the same app, maybe taking a different approach might be helpful because then you're not following the pack. I don't know. Um, so anyways, uh, Curtis, you mentioned vidIQ. Does vidIQ also um, do SEO on your channel description or is it just on videos? That's, uh, that's something I'm curious about. And uh, let's see, we've got five viewers. Hello, five people. Um, if I'm using this accurately, I'm just looking at my phone here. I'm not seeing too many people commenting at all. So again, uh, I give you permission to share your link to your channel, preferably the about page. So uh, you'll notice that the URL at the top changes when you click on about. If you can send me that link, then I'll go directly to your channel description and uh, I'll take a look at what I see. Because 
I find a lot of people, especially some of the, the newer, smaller YouTubers, often put a lot of words in their channel description that, to me, don't seem very searchable. Like, they'll talk about, like, uh, you know, oh, um, you know, subscribe, and we put all these videos out, and we've been at it for this long, and, you know, uh, new videos every Wednesday or whatever. I don't think people are searching those terms. I don't think somebody goes on YouTube and, says, and searches, you know, the word video or the word YouTube or the word Wednesday. I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they do. Um, but also, I think that those are going to be super highly competitive terms because a lot of people are going to be using them. So, I mean, my general advice about the SEO on your channel description is try to make it as unique to you. Um, ultimately, it's about uh, it's up to you whether you want to go for what they call the long tail keywords or sort of the more popular ones because there's a trade off there. The long t um, uh, oh. hi RG Smith. Uh, I'm going to have to get the chat on my phone and I'm on my surface for the video, so I'm going to be looking off to the side. Um, anyway, and not the paid version for text. RG Smith, I'm curious, um, does two version because these things work a lot on um, the description and I think that, or on videos. What do they do for um, your channel description, I wonder? Just making sure this is working here. It seems a little laggy on my end. How, how do things look and sound to you guys? Because I'm on, I'm on the hotel Wi-Fi, so... It's actually funny. Uh, flying here, I flew out of uh, Vancouver Airport, and I was trying to download 